today on Dr. Phil. He's the father of both their babies. You cheated on Melissa. Yes. And you cheated on Teresa. I did. Is there anybody you won't sleep with? Now they're fighting over him. Teresa and I are engaged to be married. Do you trust him? No, not with her. There's constant drama between these two women. Well, hell, you started it. She says, hands off, he's mine. She said you sent her pictures of Bill's private parts. I don't remember. He says she can't keep her hands off. You said Melissa man-raped me. She came on to me, grabbing me, touching me. So she forced herself on you? Yes. Well, you poor thing. <laughs> Grow up and start conducting yourself like a father instead of a dog in heat. Let's do it. Have a good show, everybody. Here we go. I hate to see people suffering, and you've hurt long enough. Stand by, Dr. Phil. Both of you. Take I'm going to get you the help that you need. In five, four, This is going to be a changing day in your life. Okay, I want you to imagine this. Imagine some woman peering through your windows, sending naked pictures to your fiance, and showing up at work unannounced. Well, that's what Teresa says her fiance Bill's ex-girlfriend is doing, and she wants this psycho stalker, as she calls her, to just leave them alone. She says Melissa is jealous, obsessed, and out to ruin her relationship with Bill. It's a love triangle that began six years ago when Bill first laid eyes on Teresa. Take a look. When I first laid eyes on Teresa, I thought she was beautiful. Bill was absolutely head over heels in love with me. When I met Teresa, little did I know she was engaged. Even though I was still planning on getting married, I did continue to see Bill from time to time. Since Teresa was engaged, I moved on. I met Melissa online. Bill absolutely swept me off my feet. I was happy and in love. It was a fun little ride in the beginning for the first month or two. Bill started telling everybody I was going to be the one that he marries, and after three months, I moved in with him. I was still thinking about Teresa alive. He would call me, and we would still meet up for sex. He would definitely confide in me about problems that they were having. After being with Bill for three months, I found out I was pregnant. I remember, like, like losing it. I cried. I, I did not want to have a child with this woman. He would constantly say, if you want to be with me and you want us to have a future, then you need to have an abortion. I felt horrible. I felt very alone. I just wasn't willing to do it. He wanted nothing to do with me and certainly wanted nothing to do with the baby. While I was pregnant, I found out that Bill was cheating on me with Teresa. Bill and I eventually had a little boy. Even though I had a child, I finally had enough with Melissa. Our son was a month old and Bill told us to both move out. I was very angry. He was a womanizer. He was horrible. Well, with Melissa out of the house, Bill was a bachelor, and Teresa made her move. When I found out Bill and Melissa broke up, I couldn't have been happier. My ex-fiance and I were broken up, so it made it easier for us to reconnect. I was extremely excited. It was almost like a little kid on Christmas. Like, wow, I got the gift I wanted. When Melissa found out that Bill and I first started dating, I completely wanted to just say, haha, I won. When Melissa found out that Teresa was moving in, it got crazy. I flipped out. I was very angry. I felt that she had destroyed our family. I got pregnant four months after Bill and I started dating. Teresa and I have a baby girl now, and we are engaged to be married. Melissa is making my life and Bill's life a living hell. I hate Teresa for breaking up my relationship with Bill. I had nothing to do with their breakup. He never wanted to be with her. He never loved her. Teresa is a homewrecker, a liar. She's manipulative and controlling. She's just a bitch. Melissa is the definition of evil. I think Melissa is absolutely obsessed with having Bill back. I am absolutely stuck in the middle of Melissa and Teresa's drama. Melissa has made it extremely clear that as long as she is alive, Teresa and I will never be a couple. We will never be married. She will make sure of it. Well, ain't love just grand? <laughs> really? So you each think the other is a conniving, interfering, deceitful bitch. Fair enough? Absolutely. Fair enough. 
where do you come down in all of this? I, I hear you talking about this like you're just almost a passenger. At this point, it's been on so long that I, uh, I, I kind of just sit back and I've been wanting it to, to play itself out. It's just not, it's not playing itself out. It's well, not getting well, you're, you're saying you want it to play itself out. What is it? The, the constant drama between these two women. The constant arguing, I mean. The, well, I, hell, I, you started it. Granted, absolutely, absolutely. I've I mean, taken... Is there anybody you won't sleep with? Amen. Uh, well, I, um, it's for, uh, over no, years. No, come on. You're first with Melissa, and you cheated on her with Teresa, right? I was with Teresa first, and then Melissa, and then back with Teresa. You, know, you met Teresa first. Yes, that's right. Right? Yes. Then when you were with Melissa, you started cheating on Melissa with Teresa. I, I, I Right? I, yes, yes. That's not an essay question. You either did or you didn't. Right. Okay, and you at the time were engaged to somebody else. Yes. All right, so you're engaged to somebody else to be married. Somebody's got down on their knee, ask you to live with them, make them y your wife for life. You say, yeah, well, sure, actually, but I'm going to go actually sleep with him in the meantime. We were engaged um, for a while before I met Bill. We postponed our wedding. We canceled it, uh -huh. and we took a two-month break. That's when I met Bill. And then me and my ex-fiance, we got back together while I had already met Bill. Okay, so you were working them both at the same yes. time. Did you know that? No, I didn't. Get on the bad guy. Oh, we'll oh. get to you. We're going to get to you, trust me. I'm not worried. You better be. You say Teresa's threatened to ruin your life. <laughs> I don't think I've ever said that, but yeah. she certainly makes my life hell. What is it she's doing that you don't like? What is it you don't want her to do? If Bill and I have a disagreement about our son, she's on the phone texting me, you're a bad mother, um, you know, stop stressing Bill out, yada, yada. She puts her place in positions that she should not be. Well, are you two co-parenting? We're trying to co-parent. And, and is that it? I mean, is that all you're looking for, is to co-parent your son? All I'm looking for you? now is to co-parent. Have we had affairs in the past? Absolutely, yes. I wrote down some of the things you said to us, okay. okay? You said, I'm totally the scorned woman. I'm bitter. I am, You yes. said, quote, if Teresa knew what's best for her, she'd leave Bill. Yes, agreed. You said, I'm better for Bill than Teresa. Yeah. We have more in common. Yes. You yeah. said, quote, if it was up to me, Teresa and Bill would split. Yes. Bill likes the attention and knows I have deep love for him. Mm-hmm. Bill is usually very nice to me when it's just him and me. Mm -hmm. If Bill was dating someone else, I would hook up with him anyway. Mm -hmm. And now you come out here and say, no, I just, I just want a co-parent. There's always going to be feelings there, but I'm not pursuing a relationship Well, tell the truth. I mean, I, I come on. I feel it is the truth. No, you're not telling the truth. Okay. You're spinning it. Okay. I don't feel like I'm pursuing a relationship with him. And I feel really? Like really? He doesn't tell that story. He doesn't tell a lot of stories the same way that everybody else does. Okay, well, all right, let's take a break. Next, if Bill and Teresa are so in love, then why did Bill go behind his fiance's back and do the unthinkable with Melissa? You're gonna need a dance card, get some chalk. We'll be back <laughs> after the break. It is safe to say Melissa's forced herself on me. Bill cheated with her. I was two months pregnant. I was extremely hurt and upset. I'm very glad that it upset Teresa. So she at least has a little inclination as to how it felt for me. I don't think Teresa has a clue as to what goes on in Bill's world. I'm sure there's a lot more stuff that she doesn't know. Melissa hears that Teresa and I are fighting or arguing. She'll try to call me, ask me what's wrong. Oh, you could talk to me. Melissa was dropping off my son to me. She saw I was upset. She proceeded to start grabbing me, playing with me until I finally just, I gave in, I gave in. I found out it happened because she sent me a picture. Bill cheated with her. I was two months pregnant. I was extremely hurt and upset. I'm very glad that it upset Teresa. So she at least has a little inclination as to how it felt for me. She doesn't seem to realize that she did the exact same thing to me. It is safe to say Melissa's forced herself on me. In his words, she practically raped him. 
I absolutely believe Bill. I think that's what happened. Bill was so anxious he was speeding on his way to hook up with me and got a ticket on his way over. I do not throw myself at Bill. Bill wants to have sex with me. When Bill and I have sex, it's planned. We have a day, a time. The second time I cheated on Teresa with Melissa was probably about seven months ago. And Melissa's like, oh, are you fighting with Teresa? She basically propositioned me again. I feel like she was definitely trying to break us up. I was beyond angry. I have serious, serious trust issues with Bill. I don't think Teresa has a clue as to what goes on in Bill's world. Teresa thinks that Bill and I have only had sex two or three times. It's probably been more like 10 times. I'm sure there's a lot more stuff that she doesn't know. OK, well, you t on tape, you said 10. You told us 10 to 15 times. I'm not, yes, 10 to 15. 10 I to don't 15. know. 10 to 15. Since they've been together. OK. I knew about two times. Well, she says it's been 10 to 15. And when she said that, he was like, oh, no. How could you believe that? Just like I man raped him, yet he drove no, I, to me. No, I believe, I believe that 100%. He drove you to believe me what? that different she time. totally forced himself She's talking on her. about a different time. I've never gone to Are your you house and gone for you. You've always come to me. Liar. I've never well, gone for him. He's always come to me. No, absolutely. So then tell me, where else Inaccurate. have we hooked at? Where Inaccurate. else have we hooked up at? She came to drop my son off. I was fighting with Where? Her. In my condo. At my condo before no. she moved in. I've never hooked out up with Bill in front That's of my lie. son. Liar. Never would take a polygraph test. Never hooked up with you in front of my son. God, Even I think when we you were three together. take a polygraph test, it'd blow the damn machine up. <laughs> That's funny. It'd run out of ink. Seriously? And but you you said she comes on to you, yeah. therefore. Dr. Phil, I 100% I, I came into this admitting I, I had done wrong. I have made mistakes 100%. But when I make these mistakes, I'm not in a rela She's breaking up with me. I'm not, like, the, one, the last time the last I was at my mom's house. house. You told me that you left her, and now I find out she threw you out. You yeah, told me you a whole other story. I never told her that. Yes, you did. I never when told you went her to that. your mother's house, you told me that you left her. No, no. We, we asked Bill about his cheating. I understand he's cheated on Melissa with Teresa and Teresa with Melissa. And here's how you explain this to us. I wrote these down. You said Melissa man raped me. <laughs> Walk me through that. <laughs> it was like, it was, all right. She came on to me, grabbing me, touching me, forcing herself on me. I finally broke down. I was wrong. I made a mistake. We're going back a couple <laughs> years before even my daughter was born. So this isn't something that happened recently. She's confusing two times. So she forced herself on you. Several years ago, yes. Well, you poor thing. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her. It is, he is a poor thing. Absolutely. He chose to have a, a child with me. He didn't want to. Well, we were he living together. To. He didn't that want to. That was by to. choice. OK, you know. he said, I, I'm 100% man. What am I supposed to do? I couldn't help it. Is that what I said? I hate it when that happens. What do you, what do you mean? <laughs> I'm mean, so man, I couldn't That's help so it. I, I, don't, I don't remember it being worded exactly that way. Oh, no, it was worded exactly it, that you know way. You what? Quote. I made a mistake, Dr. Phil. I, 100%. I fessed up to that since the beginning we came in here. I know that. Why I'm here is to take away this drama, because I do. I believe my kids are being affected. I don't want I, I want to fix the drama. I don't want these two women well, to fight Well, you are anymore. the drama. You went on. You said, so. you said, Melissa, pull down my pants and gave me sex against my will. I just zoned out like a rape victim. <laughs> Melissa won't take no for an answer. She says, you want blank? Want to relieve some stress? It will be our little secret. Yes. I took her to the park, and it was bam, bam. <laughs> I wasn't thinking about her pleasure. Melissa started getting nasty with me, and I caved. <laughs> I never kissed her, though. I mean, he yeah. has his standards. <laughs> <laughs> you apparently drew a line. He said, I never kissed her. It doesn't mean anything. I didn't even talk to her while we were having sex. <laughs> Melissa was texting me naked pictures, and I was weak while you were having sex or later? <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I was reading. I missed that. Yeah, OK. Melissa cornered me, grabbed me, and manipulated me until I gave in. Teresa kicked me out, so I was depressed. Poor me, right? Yeah, I get it. So you kicked him out. So he went to the park and bam, bam. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Very classy. So you man raped him. Apparently. 
Oh, I'm he asking you. He picked me up and brought me to the park to have it's sex. It's a different time. He different just said time. he's a 100% man. So which is it? Am I possibly able to man rape someone? I can't force it to work. I mean, give me a break. <laughs> And if I, I, I don't, him, I don't why would know whether you it? can force it to work or not. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but apparently, <clears throat> you worked it out. I mean, the two of you, some, <clears throat> in some combination of interactions, you were able to get her done. <laughs> right? 10 or 15 times. How, how do you feel about that? I don't believe that it was 10 to 15 times. I think that's a complete lie. I think it's only been the two times I know about. Just I, twice? Yeah. Okay, so you, you cheated on Melissa while she was pregnant. Yes. And you cheated on Teresa while she was pregnant. Yes, absolutely, I did. Very classy. I'm not saying it's classy. Very classy, okay, okay, okay. Up next, what happened that had both women headbutting, pulling hair, and leaving bruises while Bill just stood by, watched, and then walked away? Melissa being obsessed with Bill makes me very, very upset. It's very difficult being in the situation I'm in. Melissa still lingering around, holding on to some hope that we may be able to rekindle. I feel like she will stop at nothing to get him back. Melissa and I do not get along. We hate each other's guts. Melissa and Teresa got into a physical fight. No, I had enough of Melissa's trash talking. Teresa got in my face. Melissa headbutted Teresa, and then it was on. Like an MMA fight. This was not a girl fight. This was an uppercut, kicking, kneeing. I personally didn't want to get involved. I just walked away. I ended up with fingerprints on my neck. I smacked her in the mouth. It was like the second best thing next to having my daughter in the entire world. Melissa absolutely had it coming. So you're driving, you're an adult. You're yes. driving over there planning a fist fight. No, she, with had, said, there. she had said on the phone, didn't she say something? Yes. Thank you. I don't remember exactly what she said, but she said, bring that bitch here, bring that bitch no, here. No, I've always made it very clear that I don't want you at pick up Melissa, or drop off. you're delusional. You said that okay. on the phone. Okay. Yeah, okay. Well, after their fist fight uh, at the custody exchange, uh, Teresa says she is terrified of what else Melissa is capable of doing. Take a look. I feel Melissa is obsessed with me. I'm not obsessed with Bill. I constantly say I don't want to be with him. I absolutely think Melissa focuses her life around Bill. I think that she thinks about Bill constantly. I feel like she's constantly keeping tabs on me. Bill put his Facebook to private. It created World War III. What's the big harm in us being friends on Facebook? People are friends on Facebook that don't even speak in real life, and I'm your son's mother. To this day, she calls Bill five times a day. And she uses my son as an excuse. I don't talk to Bill every day. We do talk a couple times a week. Again, our son has a lot of issues. I think Melissa is so crazy that she pretends her son is constantly sick and constantly having issues just to get more attention from Bill. Melissa has actually showed up at my job unannounced. Melissa has gone so far as saying, your son noticed your company's logo and asked to come see you. And my son will say, I want to stop at daddy's work, so we'll stop. I don't think I ever overstepped my boundaries. I think she just is obsessed with him. Okay, uh, are you obsessed with him? No, I mean, you I'm say you're just co-parenting. Why is she so freakish about this? After you've said you have this deep love for him, that, that you, you want to... Why would she be okay with you being around him after you say all of I that? I don't think she should be okay with us being around each other, but she makes it like I'm the enemy. He's the enemy. He's the one that's treated us both the, the same way. He's... But you he's two are in a fist it. fight. Why are you two, why are you two in a fist fight? Just because you're talking trash? Yeah, she was talking <clears> trash. <throat> so, and you think the solution to that? No, she headbutted me. I did not put my you hands put on her. You put your hands on me first. No, I made sure I, I waited didn't. until you touched me. You headbutted didn't. her. You took your Where did you and learn you... to headbutt Thank people? Headbutt her. Is Melissa obsessed with Bill? Now, this is according to you. Okay, this is what somebody said about you. This is according to you. You, you say that you call and text Bill constantly. About our son, but yes, I do. You show up at Bill's job unannounced. I do, with my son. You told Teresa that you had sex with Bill just to get even. True. Right? Yes. 
You told another girlfriend, oh my God, there's another one. You told another girlfriend you had sex with Bill to break them up. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, you say that like, well, yes, it does no, everybody. No, I mean, I'm not saying it's right, but that's reality. That's you, what's you, happened. According to Bill, you faked a pregnancy and an abortion to get his attention. No, I thought it, I was pregnant at one time and took pregnancy tests, and half of them were positive and half of them were negative, so I had to go to the doctor, and I was not pregnant. What? 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 <laughs> Yo, I, this whole time, I thought she had an abortion. No, I didn't. I'm finding You're... out about this now. Now is the first time I that I'm finding out... I never told you I had an abortion. ...that she didn't have an abortion. My whole family thought this. You mean you've been lied to and deceived? I know. No, he hasn't. It's awful. It's outrageous! Outrageous! You moved in with Bill's cousin to keep tabs on him. No. Do you it... live with Bill's cousin? Bill's cousin's wife is my best friend and my son's godmother. Okay, you moved all of your stuff in while Bill was on vacation? With his permission, yes. You flipped out when he made his Facebook account private? Yes. Okay, now according to Teresa, she says Melissa is the most called person on Bill's cell phone. I talk to my kids, my kids and are my life. And our son has a lot of issues. She said you sent her pictures of Bill's private parts with the message that says, we're having sex. Maybe. I don't remember, but it's quite oh. possible. No, I, I probably did, but I don't remember it. They say you make up illnesses for your son to get attention from Bill. I don't need to make up illnesses okay, for my son. Okay, he has autism. I didn't say he, he has Tourette's. autism. I, he has a lot of tics, and they were testing him for Tourette's. God, I wonder why. <laughs> yeah. So you called Teresa and Bill's daughter the devil spawn? Maybe. No, you did. She wished Maybe. death upon my daughter. Maybe. She wished death and upon did my you, daughter. Did you peer through the window, like, staring at When Teresa? you picked up your son, like, two weeks ago, you stood outside my door. I knocked the door and walked into the driveway so I wasn't at your front door. You were standing outside. Was she not standing outside our front door? No. She was standing in front of the first, in front of the window. Because I didn't want to be at your front door. I didn't want to have what? interaction with you, so oh, I backed so away. Close. Then why did you even come out to the door? Because I called and he didn't answer. I need a break. Uh, coming up, why Bill says his son is not safe with Melissa. Plus, I want to consult a doctor about some of the medications because I think these two parents may want some information they don't have. We'll be right back. I think Melissa is a horrible mother. I just don't believe that Melissa has the skills to be a good mom. Teresa needs to mind her own business and let Bill and I co-parent our child on our own. I think Melissa is a horrible mother. My son is the happiest boy in the world. I don't think I'm doing anything wrong as a mother. Melissa definitely uses my son as a pawn against me. Melissa doesn't get her way with me. She just won't give me my son. I think I'm a good mother, and I don't think that I would do that and hurt my son that way. I believe Melissa is totally brainwashing my son. Melissa tells their son that I hurt mommy, I hit mommy, mommy has bruises because Teresa hit me. Melissa has put my son on ADD medication. He's an active kid, he doesn't need pills. When my son cannot sleep, she gives him melatonin. Everything I do in terms of medications, I do with doctor supervision. I just don't believe that Melissa has the skills to be a good mom. I feel very sorry for their son. I think he's gonna have a really rough life. Teresa needs to mind her own business and let Bill and I co-parent our child on her own. Okay, and while you're co-parenting the child, he says you're man-raping him. Come on, you're, there's drama here. You think this is not affecting children? 100%, that's why I'm here. You think it's affecting your child? What are you doing? You, you're trying to get him back from her, right? I don't want to get him back from her, but I think that she does <clears throat> not realize what her and him did to me when I was pregnant. So, what does that mean you want revenge? I guess so. And you're willing for your son to pay the price for that? No, I don't. <clears throat> I agree that he's probably caught in the middle of some drama, but you I put don't him think, in the middle of but it. But I Melissa. don't think that he is in harm at all. 
you put him in the middle of the drama. He does not hear your name mentioned from my mouth when he's in my we home. We don't talk about you You're either. Full of it. You told <clears throat> him I hit you in the face. You told him when not to give me kisses. When he saw the marks after he saw you, you. told him not to no. love me. He knows I don't like you, that, and he why? does How whatever does he I that? do. How does he know that? Because he was home there. Why would you, you fight started hitting Why me? would you yell at somebody when your kid's inside? Because he was inside, and you were in my face. What am I supposed Be to do? If you didn't come out screaming at the house, Teresa would have never gotten out of the Thank car. You. Oh. you came out if of you the house If you had not put our screaming. son in a pool after he just got out of the hospital with an ear infection, I wouldn't be screaming at your face. And the way you three are behaving, trust me, if brains were lard, the three of you couldn't grease a skillet. <laughs> well, come on. You, this is not smart. No. You are the one that have these two interacting and engaged with combat. Okay. That's right? A, uh, that, that's how you feel, and I and well, I. What and do you I mean, how I feel? Did you cheat on her with her? Or her with her? Uh, yes. <laughs> yes, I did. Did you cheat on her with her? Yes, I did. And so you look at me and say, well, if that's the way you want to but put you're, it. You're, the way you guys are coming out is you're, you're, you're focusing on, okay, this is the, 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 this time pattern or whatnot. And that's not necessarily how it happened. The man rape, which I discussed, was over two years ago. It, it was a long time And ago. you've had sex with me <clears throat> since, but yet I man rape you. I have had sex with you by since. By choice. When me and her were not together. But by choice. One time. You're trying to save your butt with Teresa. Save my butt? I already cheated on her. What's the difference because if it was two or three times? No, two or ten is a big difference. Oh, uh, well, it definitely wasn't ten, wasn't three. It was two from what I remember. But regardless, we're focusing on something when I thought the focus was supposed to be my children, right? I I'm here. I I've admitted to making mistakes from the beginning. Knew that I'm going to get bashed. And I deserve it because I've made mistakes. But I've also, I've also come clean. I've also oh, so said, now what do I have to do to victim, make it better? Now you're playing the victim with me, too. I'm not playing the victim, Dr. Phil. I'm oh, telling hell you I you're made not. a mistake. Come on. You grow up, man up, and start. Conducting yourself like a, start conducting yourself like a father and a husband Whoa. instead of a dog in heat. Now, now I'm not. Now I'm not a father or a husband, Dr. Phil. Dr. You, Phil, you tell me. No, I know. You I tell me. I you have two children involved in this melodrama. Is yeah. that responsible fathering? No, sir. It is not. But I've been trying to end the drama. I've been trying to end the drama. Well, then she's lying because well, she October, says she's had... Well, in October, we had sex. So how long not have you been trying to end it? was not August. October. It was August. August. Oh, okay, August. I'm sorry. August. I don't know the exact month, okay? Well, you seem so to, sorry. You seem no, to I thought it was October. Out. So whatever, August. That, how long have you been trying to end the drama? Do you agree, Dad, that you need to calm this situation down? 100%. 100%. Do you agree that... She wants to keep this alive and going? Yes, I do and believe that. you know that. that? I believe that, 100%. Well, then let me tell you about transparency here. You, you, you should never be in her presence without her there. Thank you. If you have to do a handoff with the child, I agree. just do it with her there. I agree. And then, you, then there's no question about August or October man rape, bam, bam, two versus 10, 15. If you have total transparency in this exchange and with the child, then you have no issue, right? I agree, Dr. Phil. All right, look, Bill says his son with Melissa looks nothing like him, questions if he's even the father. We'll be right back. It's crossed my mind that Melissa has been artificially inseminated. It's a way to trap Bill. If Teresa believes that I got artificially inseminated, I think that's very funny. Bill can have a paternity test anytime he would like. In my heart, I gotta believe he's my son. If he's not, I I'm telling you, I it's gonna devastate me. It has crossed my mind that my son with Melissa may not be mine. Bill's son looks nothing like Bill. Melissa has lied to me so much that I wouldn't put it past her that she lied just to entrap me. It's crossed my mind that Melissa has been artificially inseminated. It's a way to trap Bill. If Teresa believes that I got artificially inseminated, I think that's very funny. Bill can have a paternity test anytime he would like. I would love to have a paternity test. In my heart, I gotta believe he's my son. If he's not, I I'm telling you, I it's gonna devastate me. Well, I have a sealed envelope here uh, with the paternity test results. It's from the DNA Diagnostic Center. Uh, it's not been opened or tampered with. 
in any way. Um, you all agreed to do this, right? You want to know, right? Absolutely. The probability of paternity with regard to you being the father of that child is 99.999%. Yep. Good. Good. Awesome. Yeah. That's Actually, so, it's made me really happy. Thank you, Dr. Phil. So that's done. Now let's talk about the son. Melissa says that her three-year-old son was diagnosed with ADHD at about age one. Uh, he is currently taking uh, one milligram of Intunib, and she gives him uh, three milligrams of melatonin at bedtime every day uh, because she says he has trouble sleeping. Um, our medical resource here at the Dr. Phil Show uh, is, is something we do through Doctor on Demand, which is a new app that, that we have created. Um, and I, I want to do this so that uh, everyone can understand the potentiality of the medicines and the diagnoses that have been thrown around here. So I've just touched the app. Uh, you see it's coming up now. It says success. You're connecting with Dr. Ian Tong, and there he is. Dr. Tong, how are you, sir? Very good, Phil. How are you doing? Uh, I am well. One of the things that I'm concerned about is that this child uh, is on some medications that you know about, Dr. Tong. First off, can you reliably diagnose a child uh, with ADHD at one years of age? If you are looking at or talking about a patient who is under the age of, of six, you really, um, you really probably need to engage a, a specialist um, who is a child and adolescent uh, psychiatrist to, to make that diagnosis. If you start treating with ADHD drugs, uh, such as what's being given here, what's the problem? It really does, it does depend, however, on the medication that's used. So one of the most common medications that was used for ADHD was methylphenidate, um, or there are other medications that have, um, um, they're called immediate release stimulants. And these medications have been shown to, um, to have potentially have effect on nutrition, um, as well as um, um, growth patterns. So, so you can have some um, delay in growth um, or development as a result. The medications can also um, cause uh, heightened levels of, of anxiety, um, they can affect sleep, um, they can actually increase someone's agitation. All right, and what is your opinion of giving a child three milligrams of melatonin at bedtime? The problem with doing that is that you don't really know um, the concentration of the active ingredient um, when you're using something that's not regulated by the FDA. So then we, um, we don't want to make any recommendation that we don't have um, the evidence for or the knowledge base to know how that um, medication or substance is, is, is created, manufactured, and really what levels of the effective dose are in that. So I pretty much have to stay away from you know, recommending for or against things that, um, that I just don't even know what, what's, what's, what's in the mixture. And you understand what he's saying is melatonin, if it's FDA regulated, the concentrations have to be authenticated and validated. If it's not FDA regulated, they can make this stuff in a bathtub and then mix it up into different pills. So you might get one pill that has a very high concentration of the active ingredient and the next one has no concentration of the active ingredient in it, whether it's done with liquid or a tablet or whatever. You have no idea because there's no regulation. Okay, I didn't know that, no. Dr. Tong will release you because I know you're very busy. So we'll, thank right, you so thank much. You much. Bye. Thanks for having me. My point here is the last thing you want to do is first get a child in the middle of all of this crossfire and then start throwing pills at the kid. That's, That's the last thing what you want to do. What you want to do is turn down the environmental noise and decide that you are a fiduciary. You may want him. You may want him because you love him. You may want him because you want to just screw her over. There may be 50 different reasons that you want to do this, but the problem is you're a fiduciary for this child and you have to put that child's interest ahead of your own. And that means this drama has to stop. Yes. Now, next, who is the problem here? Is Melissa obsessed? Is Bill a drama queen? Does Teresa need to just move on? 
my plan for what needs to happen here when we come back. What I want from Melissa is to just co-parent our son together with no drama. Bill needs to know that he hurt me when he cheated. Trust is a big issue, and it's going to take time to heal it. Bill needs to know his gig is up, that he can't keep treating women the way he's been treating Teresa and I. What I want from Melissa is to just co-parent our son together with no drama. My greatest fear is that Bill and I will never be able to get our co-parenting together because of Teresa. All I want from Melissa is to be able to coexist without drama. I want Bill to step up. I want him to stop questioning me as our son's mother and the decisions that I make for our son. What I want from Teresa is I want to earn the trust back. Bill needs to know that he hurt me when he cheated. Trust is a big issue, and it's going to take time to heal it. Bill needs to know his gig is up, that he can't keep treating women the way he's been treating Teresa and I, and I'm sure other women in his past. He needs to realize that he's the bad guy and not necessarily me. How do you feel about this? Do you trust him? No, not with her. I just want to tell you straight up that you've you've seen time and again that he has lied and cheated on you you've yeah. over and over right yeah and there's an old saying in texas for every rat you see there's 50 you don't do you think everything you know is all there no. is to know no and you know you're over there saying what the hell like two times you, you, you think I don't get timing, right? You, you think I don't get timing? You're a very intelligent man, doctor. You get everything. So is she lying when she says that y'all have had sex 10 to 15 times? I don't think it's been 10 to 15 times, that's doctor. A, well, how do you not? That's a big difference. I'm saying two, two, like two, two, three times. Well, then tops. you say, no, it hasn't been 10 to no, 15 times. No, it has times. not been 10 or 15 times. No, it doesn't count if you tell him what to I say. <laughs> I just don't understand if you didn't do it, why are you not adamant? Well, no, about you're not saying doing it? you didn't like his answer, no, so you I'm, tell him what he needs to say I'm to convince you. To Here, say this, yeah, so I'll like, believe you. Yeah, like, wake up, stupid. Like, you're not, like, you're obviously wrong. Okay, look, here's the thing. You, you you're an agitator here, right? Yes. And it's at the expense of your child. You're creating drama here. And, it, and listen, it's not going to go well for you. It's unbecoming. You don't wear it well. It doesn't come across well, and your son gets caught in a crossfire. He has moved on. And I, if I were you, maybe that's a really good thing. He's cheated on you. So come on. G get on with your life. This has to stop. Hopefully somebody here will mature enough to get past this. But I'm telling you, transparency between these two is your friend. And you need to accept the truth. He is with her now, right? Yes. I think a lot of our issues are in regards to parenting our son. I don't think he steps up as a father, and what? that <clears throat> leads us into big arguments. He you doesn't know, step up look, as a you, father. You hide behind Delusional. that. You no, hide I behind that, but I've read through no. your statements here. You're taking pictures of his private oh, parts yes. and sending to her, grow up, lady. It come on, both of you grow the hell up. <laughs> this is not fast times at Ridgemont High, and there are children involved. You two grow up. And you provide the leadership here to calm this down. Be a leader. Thank you, sir. All right, Teresa wrote me a question. I'm gonna answer that next. You had a question, how do you deal with this? You need to make a core decision. Are, are you buying a ticket to a train wreck? I mean, that, that's what you need to ask yourself. And the best predictor of future behavior is relevant past behavior, unless something dramatic happens to change his value system and his behavior, you're going to get the same thing in the future that you've gotten in the past. And that means that there is a real maturity issue here and you guys are not married, correct? No. I I'm going to arrange some premarital counseling for the two of you. Very intense, 
very focused, very private premarital counseling by a specialist. I want you to go through that. And if at the end of that, you think you've got the, the, the core, the onus for a marriage, then make that decision. Don't get married till you do that. No. You deserve that. Thank you. Okay, you deserve that. Your family deserves that. Your children, your son deserves that. Okay. Will you do that? Absolutely. 100%. Okay, fair enough. All right, I'd like to thank Dr. Tong from Doctor on Demand for weighing in. And if you at home want to have your own Doctor on Demand, all you have to do is download the new app uh, that we have created. It's on Google Play or the App Store. You never have to leave your home. Thanks for being here. So long. Yeah.